their own little we're, we're kind of like Valve intro there. That's fine. Agent Alex Bond. Prepared to enter Soviet Combine territory. What the fuck? Investigate their dramatic military movements and the road distress signal regarding a mysterious weapon. Uh huh. Good luck, Bond. You'll need it. I'm, I'm Agent Alex Bond, I guess. This is Dav Train. Ladies and gentlemen. Bond, your objective is located nine clicks ahead. Make your way. Okay, so right away, I am hugely impressed. It's too loud on my end, though. So let me just turn it down a little bit. Turn yours down a little bit. We're going to make a save. Look at these pliers! Alright, so... Like, wow. So I guess I just came in from there. Still pretty loud? Okay. I don't know why the library- like, their settings always get so, like, laggy. When you... go into them. Alright. How about now? Can I get some, um, some context from the devs? Where am I? I know he just told me, oh, I'm being dropped into to Soviet Combine territory or whatever. How far into the game is this map? This is the first chapter. This is map one. Also, I still have this mod installed. I'm sorry. Look at the poster. Wow. Yo. The music is music. The music is music. Cycling with the Prime, thank you very much. Music's still a bit too loud. You're gonna have to deal with it. I'm sorry. All right, I'm excited. Let's 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 see what we can let's see what kind of damage we can cause. All right, I do have my walking speed turned up to 120, up from 100. Thank you for letting that be opened. I think that's a custom asset, actually. How many custom assets are in this? You have to drink the beer? Right, so that's where I want to go, but I want to explore. I want to take take it all in because I know this was like a labor of love. I wonder, I wonder, can you? Zero out of 10, zero out of 10, zero out of 10, zero out of 10. I wonder if I go down there eventually. Oh yeah, I come out there. I like how the game isn't trying to take itself too seriously. I like how I have a golden gun. By the way, how's everything look? I wanted to make sure everything was set up properly before we went and got started. Everything look okay before I really like get into this and, and enter? Looks great? Okay, cool. Let's get going. This does look beautiful. So one of the problems as to why it took so long to render is because they were rendering it in 8K, 8K. Let me see if I can do air quotes and have my back. 8K, yes I can. Uh, which is as high as Valve rendered their maps, but it just takes a, just a bloody long time. Uh, Valve circumvents that by having render farms and, and hardware accelerated compile time, um, but we don't have that. It's all software based. So it took them, oh God, I'd love to know what the final compile time was. Um, we are going to talk to uh, the, some of the developers. I see you. Uh, can I get him? I wonder how can I, because I saw him. 
Uh, how am I gonna get him? Can I stand on top? Yes, I can. Okay. Did you guys see him? Did you guys see him? It took 12 hours and 35 minutes. That is insane. I wonder, can I? Yeah. Oh, did he break? No, okay, that worked. Come on. Let's do the, let's do the meme. Ugh, come on, we can do it. Just register. You see, it's, oh, right there. Right there. Ah, he's not coming out. I'm sorry, he's, he's not. But yeah, uh, I guess there's benefits to the 8K render because this map does look beautiful. I can't play on, on like the highest settings. I don't have a, a rig that can, that can handle it. But one day I will. I have the money for a 3080. I just can't seem to buy one at MSRP. Oh, hello. Oh, goodness. What's going on? Was that custom animation work? That was sick. That Elon, expect conflict. Jesus Christ, you guys really put a lot of work into this. Holy crap. I'm kind of scared. <laughs> There's that door I saw. So that's where we started. Oh, thank God, I ran out of my meds. So I love this golden pistol. Does this golden pistol have custom, like, stats? Because it's a golden gun, is it one shot kill? Drink the pills. Slightly buffed, not one shot kill, that's fair. One shot kill would break the game. Unless the whole map is based around it, like that one map that just came out that makes you feel like John Wick. I think it's called Continental. That one's sick. Go subscribe to Skuma on YouTube. He plays like everything. It's a mod's finest channel. Ooh, weird shadows. There's got to be a secret in here, right? I just can't see it. It's got to... Nope. Okay. Yeah, I'm Agent Alex Bond. So this obviously isn't supposed to even... That was a suitcase, right? Well, what happened there? Oh. Oh. Holy shit. You guys didn't. Are you, are you serious? This isn't in, in. Wow. Can I open this one somehow? Or is it just that one? Wait, this was something you could do in Half-Life Alex? Huh. All suitcases in Half-Life Alex have an inside. Are you serious? How am I still learning things about that game? Sorry guys, sorry. Eagle One is now not as cool. I thought they did that with the suitcase. Rarely used. Oh, this is where I came from. Right. G Man suitcase does have an inside in Half Life 1. There's a gun in there. Council with the follow. I'm pretty sure you've followed in the past. Did you unfollow me, Council? I know who you are. 
I will find you. Can I honk the horn? 10 out of 10. Kenny must die 10 with the follow. Thank you very much. Alrighty. Uh, egg flavored. Oh, that's the water flavored one. JB Butt 5. No, thank you for the follow. Damn, this map is pretty. All right. Yeah, that, I keep thinking the stapler is ammo. Okay. Cart, cart, ache with the follow. I, I don't know how to pronounce your name. Sorry about that. Man, I wish I had a flashlight right now. I want to look around. I know that's the design, but still. Pneumatics. What the hell? Wait, really? Oh, that's sick. That's fucking cool. Uh, Kit Cat Argue with the follow. Oh, did it get stuck? Yeah, it got stuck. Give me. Let's give it back. Animators are no longer the doormat of the game industry. Tyler acknowledged us. That is sick. I don't know why you would make that. Like, what is the purpose? I don't know. If, will it come? Oh, close the thing. Close the thing. I don't know what it's going to do. But that's sick. Can I? No. Uh, there kind is a manual flashlight mod, yes, uh, but the way that the game works is it can actually fuck up the lighting in a map if the map's lighting wasn't made to take into consideration that flashlight. There's a limited number of light sources that can exist in one time, and the flashlight is one of them. So yes, it exists, uh, but given how Valve developed the game, it would take entire like the maps would have to be designed around it oh wow i like the yellow coloring you did on this gate i know that you can just do that in the in the model editor but that's sick i'm gonna keep saying i gotta stop saying that's sick well, not 10. Per pixel, what is it? Per pixel lights. Tyler, you're sick. No, I'm not. Don't tell me that. I don't want to be sick. Ooh, Razor Train. That's my dryer. Sorry. That scared me too, if it scared you. That's my dryer. Oh, invisible wall. I always try and break custom maps because I'm an asshole. Oh, hello. Is this a trick? This feels like a trick. It's not a trick. Okay. Are there any HLA mods? <clears throat> Are there any HLA mods with a fully fleshed out story being developed at the moment? This one, uh, FM Pones one called Levitation. And those are the only ones I'm aware of. There are beta mod recreations. There's a Quake 1 remake. There's the Project Shooter remake. Uh, there's the Point Insertion mod, but that's a Half-Life 2 remake. Anti-Citizen. Yeah. I don't know how far along that one is. Ugh. Nope, 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 nope. Alright. Okay. Stalin, I think. Len I don't know who that is. I don't I don't fucking care.
Dude, look. Oh, a, oh. a stockpile of SM2 missiles. The standard arsenal for any competent country. Not what we're here for. <laughs> Wouldn't that be a funny way to end it? Who is this? Is it, is it Greg? Alright, we're gonna carry this around. Where'd he go? I swear I threw him out the window. Double doors. <laughs> we got some rockets. The in-character voices kind of scare me because they just pop out of nowhere. I'm going to turn the character voices down a bit more than I currently have them. They're just too loud. Got some rockets. Didn't take into, into account Alex Bond, did you? Oh, there's a ladder. Ladders are such a joke in this game. Why is there one pink barrel? <gasps> Clever. So I just... Look. Fucking cool, dude. That's so cool. You guys are... You guys are smart. I'm sure shit's about to go down, so... Oh, that's right. And this is where the enemies enter, right? Combine. Oh god, you're making me scared! Where are the enemies? You know? Ugh. Suddenly got darker. Huh. This feels so Valve. Like, if you told me, oh, you're playing HLX, actually, I'd be like, okay, yeah, yeah, probably.
Can I open books? Can I open the books? Is there a secret flask or a, a resin in the books? I'll play it as it's intended, I guess. Okay, well, Eagle One is laughing at me right now. Okay, so this is like an extra little environment then. I like the music. I can't tell if it's custom or not, but knowing knowing you guys, it probably is. Uh oh! Now it's You're time. On the edge, Bond. Back to back. I'm on the edge. Fuck you. There you are. I, I... Right. I took too much damage there to, to justify. Oh, there you are. Hi. You see that man's goofy legs? Find some health. Man, I cannot wait to play this with the B Haptics vest. You feel like you're getting shot. Well, not you not really, but you know what I mean. Yeah, the music is really, really good. Please tell me there's a healing item around here somewhere. Just to make it extra dumb for me, let's save. Take the rocket. Hmm. It's a good idea. Wow, you guys love laughing at me, don't you? Oh, hi. Oh, God. Oh, goodness. That was, that was a mistake. Is that two of them? No. Uh, okay, I'm gonna save again. Oh, look! Now I'm gonna save.
How do you get this to open? And why was there beer in it that one time? I'm like, are they gonna hide something in there? Save again. Okay. Wow. Now you're overloading me. Thank you. I asked and I received. Okay. Yeah, there it is. I'm scared to go that way. Holy shit, this looks sweet. Wait, did he just go down a ladder? It's a common trope in custom maps to hide shit behind uh, framed paintings. And I know this one's more professional than those, but I don't know if they would still do it. Okay. Is this where I came from? Yeah. Oh man, this is sick. how real Valve fans climb ladders. $2 donation from free Valve Index headset. You can put toilet paper on your gun and it's a silencer. Are you kidding me? Did I really miss on a silencer? Like that's an actual thing? Wait, really? Did I fuck up? Okay. This is V's sauce. Uh, it's so strong it can stand a bullet. Glitchiest item in all of Half Life Alex. I appreciate they actually put that there, but what does it do? Oh my god. This is nuts, guys. Like, this surpasses Valve quality. This is insane. Oh, I was trying to throw this. Is this where I came from and I have to go back around? No, it's not! Oh, shoot. Ah, they shot the grenade. They shot the grenade. What 
do I do? I wanted to troll a grenade from the grunt. Ow. So, these combine soldiers just patrol through this rubbish all day Rusting holes in walls, but without any upkeep or cleanup? <laughs> These Soviet Combine are the strangest military force to march the earth. Hmm, I wonder what they're doing. <laughs> Sorry. Which follow from Ethan Knight. Can't read. Okay. Do they have anything on them? Spencer with the follow. Thank you very much. Hey, buddy. Are you a silencer? Why are you looking here? I really should leave them open so I know. I have memory problems. Oh, there's no drawer there. Okay. Can I? I love that you did that. Most of the time those radios are, are, are uh, stationary. It's really neat that I can move them. It's the little things, man. Really great work so far, guys. I know it's weird to say, but I'm proud of you a lot. Like, this is nuts what you have been able to do in such a short amount of time, relatively speaking. So wait, is the toilet paper thing real or are you guys like screwing with me? I'll find toilet paper. I just didn't realize they like custom entitied a friggin' roll of toilet paper as a joke. This is one of those moments where it's like, talk to the bup, Joel. He's real. And then he's like, I'm going to trust you for the first time ever. What's your name? Find the toilet paper <laughs> just followed. Okay. Thank you, find the toilet paper for the follow. I always find it funny that these tiny boxes are just scaled down these boxes. They're the same texture. You just scale them down. Valve does that. What does that say? Like clean up the streets or something? Oh yeah, here's some, here's some toilet paper. I mean, these are, that's not toilet paper. Nah, these aren't toilet paper. Oh, we're in a bathroom though. We're in a bathroom. 
What does this say? It says Russian? Oh. What, is, what does this say? Keep corridors clean. Is this custom? How do people wipe their asses in this, in this? There's no toilet paper. There's no toilet paper in this bathroom. Do Russians not wipe their ass? <laughs> Sorry. This isn't toilet, this is, this is paper towels and it doesn't work. Valve tricks. Oh, cool. I actually have to get halfway up. Yep. Oh, no. Oh. Good use of this. This is neat. This is so good, guys. I cannot wait for the full thing. Oh my god. Oh shit, how do I get... Will it even... No. How do I get back there? Probably around. Computer monitor. Can I shoot it? Nope, that's an invisible wall. You figured out how to use double doors. I said find the toilet paper, just followed. You guys are just bumping up my follower count with your memes. That makes that makes sponsors want to sponsor me more, your dumb jokes. Underutilized in Half-Life Alex that. You can backtrack to the toilet paper, you can fuck right off. I don't have all day. If there isn't another roll of toilet paper in the whole damn level. Yo. Good day, you wanka. Rick Hardcore with the tier one sub. Thank you very much. It doesn't tell me how many months you've been subbed, unfortunately, when on the, the live stream kit, but Zal. Zal with the follow. Thank you very much. Oh, shit. <laughs> Hold on. Can I shoot that button? Maybe I'm missing it. No. Wouldn't that be sweet? You know, it drives me nuts that you can't open some of these fire call boxes in Half-Life Alex like, proper. Thank you for letting me open those. It's just, like, little details like that. You're doing better. Holy shit. It's nuts. This is so great. Look at this detailing. My god, I've played so many good gameplay designed maps that don't do this. Look how good this looks. Who do I thank for this? Who do I thank? Like, who is predominantly environmental art? How did you get CSGO gloves and Alex? Uh, same way you get the HEV HUD thing. It's a mod, uh, but you have to install it through a VPK and not through the add-on folder. Firekeep and Vsauce. Good job, guys. GCAF made the brunt of this. Uh, Ali Doggo2. Thank you very much for the follow. All right. I'm sorry I'm taking so long to get through this, but I really do like admiring the detail, which I think the developers appreciate anyways. <sighs> Those are weird. And don't, don't use this if I can't open it. You can thank me for playtesting. Thank you for playtesting. Oh.
All the devs in chat are just GGAF alt accounts. Oh, is that the case? Is this the room with that double resin that I saw earlier? I'm trying to open this, aren't I? Okay. How would I do that? Is there any... Oh! Oh, that's from the retail game. I always get excited with, like, custom world-building stuff. Like, you had that one poster at the beginning that was really, really well made. Alright. Let's clean up our liquor. Keep it closed. I think it's clean. Alright, how do we do this? Oh, oh, that's really slick. <laughs> Sorry, I just, I have the sniffles. I usually have the sniffles, I apologize. This is so beautiful, guys. Oh my god. I don't know if that's a bug or if it's supposed to look like that, but that kind of looks sick. Sweet. I, I gotta get better words. Can I just... Slimy. Whoa! That is a leap beyond transhuman technology. Hmm. Whoa! This is a jump scare. Oh, okay, cool. That, uh, pretty fucking cool. Jeez. <laughs> wow. Oh, cool. I thought this would break. Get out of the way. I want to look behind that for a secret. <sighs> ah, frick. Nerfing. Kind of awkward, but all right. Oh. Wow. This is going to be the stupidest thing I say all day. But just looking at this, this is the most photorealistic thing I have ever seen in VR. Just this little hallway. Wow, you guys did amazing. Oh, there's something in there. Can I... Is that really a hallway? It's a corridor of some sort. Is that, oh, that's a phone. Oh, I was down there. Where am I headed? Am I headed down there? Can I? I can. But before I make that jump, I'm going to save in case I'm wrong. Are you guys... <clears throat> oh, my vault, my throat. Are you guys going to release the, uh, the soundtrack to this? Oh, no. Oh, goodness gracious. What am I going to do? I'm stuck in here, right? Oh. Hey. Wow, the AK render was worth it. You were right. Man, look at this. This is so fucking good. All right. <sighs> Nothing. Okay. I feel something about to happen, but let's do it. What did that do? What did that do? What is this? Oh. I can barely see. Oh.
Is it safe? Can I... Huh. Look at those reflections. Oh my god. 8k render. Oh, hi. Hey, bud. Um, just gonna chill over here for a minute. Would have missed this. Ha, <laughs> sick. Oh god, I get it. I, I immediately understand what you're trying to tell me here. Alright, hold up. <laughs> you guys are geniuses. This, oh my god. If Valve offers you a job, don't take it. You'll never release anything again. <laughs> what? Is it... Do I need to pop What? Is it broken? Do I have to power it? Follow the cable, Tyler. It goes up into there. What? Is it a bug or is that a joke? I'm sure it's a puzzle, right? Foolish brat just followed. Thank you, foolish brat. I mean, it's fine. I'm, I'm pretty much at, at full health. This is on the workshop yet. It'll be on the workshop tomorrow. They were really nice, and they gave me exclusive early look, which is what you're watching. It's a bug? Okay. Sorry. It's, it's a really good map. That's, that's the first bug. It's community-made. All right, we got to find a batter... Oh, wait, no, it's not a bug, I think. This is just the first level of the full campaign, yeah. What is this? All right, so I think we're gonna find a battery up here. Wait. Oh, good, you actually make me have to climb it a bit. What a thrill. Oh, strict ladders, I like it. Oh, buggy ladders. Not going to use them. Let go. Teleport. Teleport up. Okay. We're going to actually use it, I, I guess. Hmm. I'll just have to solve the puzzle while not letting go. Oh god. Shoot ladder. <sighs> Alright, we can fix it. We can fix it. We can fix it. <sighs> Nope. All right, hold up. Wait. Hand climbing ladders off. Let's reload the save.
And we're back. That's a bug in Half Life, Alex. When you load a load a load a thing, we should be back. That happens to me all the time. Are we back? We good? All right. Can I dev teleport up the ladder? No, that means there is no end point put on this ladder. I'm gonna have to dev teleport up the ladder. Yeah, that's not the fault of them. That's the fault of the, the version of, of Source 2 that Half-Life Alex runs. It just does that sometimes. In the headset, it looks like each eye is blinking in different intervals, and you just have to wait it out. I don't know why it happens, but Valve, uh, fix it. Oh, a screwdriver. I wonder if... I wonder if that's a secret silencer. Alright. Now this one works. Okay. Oh. Wait, what? Do you see me? Can you hurt me? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, SteamVR isn't uh, that great of a piece of software compared to what Oculus is making because SteamVR is upkept by like 20 people and Oculus is upkept by like a fuck ton of people. All right, there's a, there's stuff. I'm probably gonna get over there at one point, so. Just for the, the hell, yeah, this'll kill me. Oh, but because there's an endpoint on the bottom, it'll work. Bond? Agent down. Bond? Agent down. Agent down. The hell is he talking about, Agent Down? Agent down! Agent down! Yep, agent down. What the hell? Agent down! Cool. You ever heard of the Northern Star? In this universe, Trump owns the Northern Star. Whoa. Yo, Gray Twitch Wolf. Prime is free, you guys. Gray Wolf with the Twitch Prime. Remember, guys, if you have it, Twitch Prime is free. Use it on someone. Doesn't have to be me. Use it on your favorite Twitch uh, creator. Really, really helps them out. Really supports them. I love that noise. Congrats on the big promotion. Someone got promoted? Oh, it's all the different places I've been. Gold gun. Do I get to stop here? Yeah. Cool. Shoutouts to me accidentally delaying the release of this demo by a couple of days because they're going to have to re-render a bunch of shit. Sorry.
I have hat. I am Gabe. Oh, hello. Bombs away. Oh, fuck. Oh, this one's got liquid in it. And the beer was wasted. Are there texture mods to make the game look more high res? What the fuck? No. No. Are you serious? <gasps> it's this place! Double resin! Holy shit. I know it's not canonically supposed to be City 17, but that's City 17. Come on. Yo, thanks for the subscription. Is? Oh, I didn't get your name in time. Something real. Thank you for the sub. <gasps> Upgrade station, finally. Ah, uh, locked door poo. Oof. It just broke. That shot. They said it was one in a million. Th no, this isn't the highest setting. You could do a 16K render, uh, which Valve doesn't even do. Spencer with the tier one sub. Thank you very much. Oh, is this City 14? Is it City 14? Gold gun in the thing. Um, I want a reflex site. Source 2 uh, in its current implementation does not have ray tracing. No, everything you're seeing out here is ray casted. It's not ray casted, it's, it's, uh, it's just raster. By the way, in case you didn't know, if you walk away when it's upgrading, it just gives it to you. Did I, like, seriously break something with this bond agent down thing? I wasn't trying to break anything. I'm sorry. What is the point of this area? It's replacing Russell lines. This is a cool looking environment. Locked though? <gasps> no, it's not. Wait, was I in there? I don't know. I feel like there's a secret in there or something. Yeah, the environments are fucking insane. Yeah, they're amazing. Is this one locked? Yeah. Okay. See, all these extra side environments make me think I'm missing stuff. Like, am I not noticing secrets that, that are, you know, in front of me? Hmm. Usually, Combine forces use trams or trains to bring their forces in or supplies. Maybe you can find a way out through there. Good thinking, unnamed man. What the hell is this? What am I looking at? What is that? What is... Oh my god. By the way, not a single map load yet. What the fuck? Oh, that's a weird, you put the, the grating in the plastic one, that's cool. Well, 
There's a battery. Now, put myself in the face. Is that the sideways citadel? Is that really what it is? I'm curious. I'm sure there's like an in-lore reason for it, but it's really cool. All right, what are we doing here? Oh, this, okay. These extra side environments, I think, are a reference to Goldeneye, which also had a lot of useless rooms, which make the environments feel more believable. Oh. Yeah, I haven't played Goldeneye all the way through since, like, 2001, maybe? It's been a very long time. What does this do? What am I doing? Oh. Cool. Okay, cool. Sweet. Boink. Oh, and it loops back around! You guys are geniuses. Holy shit. I kind of just want to admire it for a minute. Like, for real. Look at this. Half-Life Alex didn't give you enough of the in-city stuff, I feel like. I don't know. Weren't you like four in 2001? I was... Yeah, four. Well, I've been playing video games as long as I can remember. Oh, right. I always thought that this handle probably could do with another art pass. Also, it's mechanics. It never stays. Wait, does it have a handle? Okay. Oh! Oh! Blah, blah, blah. if it was scripted to do that when I opened the door, but it sure felt like it was. Let go of the damn box. All right, true test, true test. Does the honk horn. Does the honk horn. Oh, let's, let's readjust myself in my room. Again, I gotta back up. Where the hell am I in my room? Ten out of ten, guys. You guys are the best. The horn honk. The honk horn. Anybody drop anything? Sound design in this map is fucking great.
Whoa! Oh! That was a panic right there. You just saw me panic. Man, this is disorienting. It's like it's had a slam. This is weird. It's really fucking with my head right now. Snag that ride, Bond. We've only just begun. We in a razor train, fellas. Thank you for playing our demo, Bond. Aww. We hope you had a smashing good time, and we look forward to the full release of Runaway. All right. Damn, guys, let's get some music on. We're going to have a conversation with some of the people that made that and talk about the whole thing that should be out this year. Uh, we'll find out exactly when it'll be out. Some people have told me it's going to be a long time. Other people have told me that it's almost done. So we will see. All right. That was awesome. That was that was fucking great, guys. That was that was as good as anything Valve has 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 put out for Half Life Alex. Anything seen in, in the main campaign of Half Life Alex that's better than any of it. So good. All right, I'm gonna add this person to the, the the person in charge of the team to a Discord call here. I'm gonna make sure that everything is set up on that end properly so that it will hear it. Uh, excuse me. Hello? Can you hear me? Oh, shoot. No, you can't. I'm a dumbass. Hello, can you hear me? Hello, hello. Chimona. Chimona, hey, hey. Chimona. Are you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, Mr. Chimona. How are you? Great, how you doing? I'm ecstatic. That was fucking awesome, dude. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, before we go any further with this uh, little conversation we're going to have here, can you give some shout outs to the people that were responsible for what we just played? Oh, yeah, um, absolutely. Um, uh, Eagle One dev team, uh, starting with uh, GCAF as the uh, lead level designer. Um, he took over that and uh, made uh, everything that you saw happen. Um, I'm I, Honestly, I sat back and I just managed a spreadsheet. That's what I did. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I what that means? <laughs> I, uh, I, I, my job was just to make sure that uh, whatever um, we needed to get done, got done. So in terms of getting talent, in terms of getting people, um, I just wanted to, uh, give, uh, GCAF, uh, whatever he envisioned for this level, um, all the support he could get. Um, he actually took my level. I had complex. I already had a level that I had designed. Um, and once GCAF got brought onto the team, uh, it was obvious, uh, giving him control was the best thing that I could do for this, uh, project. So is that what uh, actually went down here? Um, could you walk me through the actually you know what i'm sorry keep shouting people out and then we'll get to that oh yeah no worries um yeah uh for uh the uh, environment artists uh that were responsible uh for uh what you saw for the art pass uh vsauce and firekeep 
those two have gone through uh, an extensive amount of time, as well as uh, Darkhawk, who uh, came on uh, a little bit later into the project as well. Uh, between the three of them, um, we were able to take the level and uh, they were able to combine their vision together to try to bring you a seamless world. Um, and and I, I thought that they did an absolutely fantastic job in attempting to replicate uh, what we consider to be valve quality. Um, and the attention to detail that they put into this um, was something that uh, I felt like uh, we were hoping could be shown uh, with uh, the uh, light map pass that took a little bit of extra time, but uh, hopefully was worth it in the end to show off that detail. It was as the per as a as a uh, you know going in this is the first playthrough. Um, if you set out to be Valve quality, you've definitely achieved that in this in this chapter. Thank you. Um, Thank at least you. from my um, own professional opinion, yes, this was insane. Much appreciated. Um, as, as far as audio goes, um, audio uh, Bowmancer is, uh, is our audio guy. Nice um, he is in full charge of all the audio that you heard um, from uh, the samples. He uh, composed uh, a lot of what you heard and uh, also worked uh, with uh, others to get the music composed um, and uh, being able to sit through and uh, figure out the engine uh, at every single detail. Um, uh, Bowmancer, in, in my opinion, uh, probably knows the engine audio for Source 2 better than anybody else in terms of the amount of time that he spent um, digging up every single file that he could. Um, he, he's been uh, you know, very uh, uh, good at also uh, being able to work with the level design team. I think that's the biggest credit to him uh, was being able to take the uh, vision of what the uh, level designers wanted and uh, also match it up with his audio vision as well. Um, uh, yeah, so uh, it, it took a, a team uh, to do this, uh, some other mm. shout outs, and, and uh, I just want to make sure I try to get um, uh, as many people as I can as uh, quickly as possible. Um, we had a, a lot of uh, help as well um, in terms of uh, just uh, scripting and setting up sequences um, from uh, Generic. Uh, he was able to, Generic Icon was able to jump in, help out with debugging. Um, we had Jake saying Woosh also come in and do a lot of the art pass as well uh, at the end, help out with uh, making sure that it got ready. Um, Whimsy and Kamagatsi are our animators, so the custom animations that you saw uh, were done uh, with a uh, motion capture by Validator, and then we had um, animators uh, Whimsy and Kamagatsi come in and touch it up and make sure that everything that you saw uh, was up to speed. Um, in uh, terms of um, artwork, um, the title uh, cover that you see, uh, we have a couple of artists. Uh, the in-game art that you saw uh, was from uh, Chiki Brikio. Uh, she has an amazing job of uh, doing all the combine art, uh, custom passes, and uh, France uh, uh, has uh, Francesca has uh, done the uh, cover art for us um, as part of the team. Um, and I also want to give um, a shout out uh, to. Um, a couple of other people uh, who uh, were uh, helping uh, in the production of this as well. Um, Adesi uh, did the introduction. Uh, he was the guy who uh, did all the virtual reality uh, thing that you saw at the beginning that introduced the player. Um, that was something that um, I uh, had him uh, specifically work with, as uh, well as um, a special shout out to uh, Marnamai, who uh, has been a kind of our consultant. Um, he. Uh, has uh, professional level design experience working mm. at uh, game companies and uh, his ability to help guide us and uh, show us uh, you know, uh, a lot of what the professional industry uh, looks at in terms of level design, in terms of being able to develop, uh, in terms of the workflow. Uh, it wouldn't be possible without him spending uh, countless hours. Uh, the custom skins that you saw, uh, the golden gun, and we also had a uh, combine had some Soviet patches done to it, was done by uh, Paradox. Um, so he has been uh, helping us uh, with developed custom skins. And in the future part of the campaign, uh, you're going to be able to see um, a lot more custom work as we have Metro Cops, as we have the Strider workers uh, fully in. Um, we have a lot more custom uh, NPCs involved. Uh, that has been uh, the work of primarily uh, Generic Icon, who has been uh, working hard to make sure that um, as the chapters progress, and this is the first chapter of eight, um, each chapter brings you a different uh, environment and a different style, a different gameplay mechanic that we hope to uh, really uh, lure the player into. Um, so, yeah, I'm uh, hoping 
I know that covered quite a bit yeah. of uh, people. <laughs> yeah. Um, we have um, a, a play testing squad too. Um, of of uh, you know, we have about ten play testers who are consistently coming through. Um, anytime that we need a play test, uh, we're usually able to get them. I'll make sure that I shout them out in the credits later. Uh, but yeah, play testing I think has been the biggest thing for us. Um, as if it weren't for the play testers and their feedback um, and their brutal feedback. I mean, um, you know, we've, we've had to completely redesign this level, um, even under GCAF's lead, uh, about two to three times. Uh, it went through the cutting block, um, it ripped out the entire thing, started over. Um, and a big reason for that was uh, trying to ensure that as we develop these maps, um, that the talent that we have on the team is reflected in the work that was shown. And I'm hoping that, um, you know, as I told you, my position is I just sat back and I just made sure, hey, everyone got along, everyone's communicating, what do you guys need? You need this, you need that. And uh, I think that it made my job easy when you have talent that has such good leadership uh, to be able to work together with uh, such a big group. Wow. You, you said a lot of stuff that uh, got me excited. Um, so Thank you. Um, just I have to process everything you just told me. I'm very, yeah, no worries. <laughs> um, I'm very excited for. Is it, is it okay if I get uh, GCAF in the call? Um, I know oh, bring that in, in yeah, anybody, of, anybody. Yeah, I, that's okay, fine. Okay, perfect. Um, I'd like to bring a couple of people into the call who specialize. Um, and these are people who are, um, when I bring them onto the team and I talk about like trying to figure out source two, I'm talking about uh, spending hours consecutively, uh, well, not only working together, but um, like reaching out and we've actually had contact, um, you know, with some of the Valve employees on trying to get some insights on how we can help push the engine to its limit. So um, as far as technical questions go, I can go ahead and I will let these guys handle uh, the more technical aspects as um, when it came to developing this, um, I, I, pushing the engine to its limit is really an understatement. Um, this should have been split into two maps, um, which is something that uh, we decided to end up going against and we wanted to make it uh, the biggest single map that the Half-Life Alex atmosphere will ever have. And uh, these guys can help answer how we got it there. So I'm gonna go ahead and add them to the call. Um, let me see here, just make yeah. sure I get them in here. Yeah. yeah. And let me get you uh, in here as well. Hey, how's it going? Hello. Hey, this is GCAF. This is our uh, lead level designer for Complex. Thank you for and... breaking my computer, GCAF. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> <laughs> and, hey. uh, this is uh, Bo Manser. He is our uh, audio engineer and composer, uh, and uh, anything that you heard went through him. Okay, we're going to be talking for a little bit here because uh, Shimona just said some stuff that blew my mind, and I'd like to get some explanation. Um, so we have GCAF and Baumanser. Bo is it Bow? Uh, Bo Manser, call me Bo Manser. Bo Man, okay. Bo Man, yeah. Uh, I want to make sure that you can hear everybody. Let me just adjust your guys' audio on my end real quick. Um, first of all, amazing work, guys. Holy shit. Thank like, you. seriously, this is really, really cool stuff. Um, as somebody that, that lives and breathes for the Half-Life franchise, this, this hit the nail on the head really, really well. And this being one chapter of eight, and this chapter, me, a guy that's played Half-Life Alex like a thousand times and has hundreds of hours and custom maps and stuff, it took me an hour and a half. Oh my God, like how much, it, this is level one. How much, like <laughs> you are gonna, like, I know this is a loaded question, but I'm just gonna <laughs> ask it for the fun of it. That's okay, throw it on us. What percentage of the new stuff was, was I seeing in what I just played. Do you understand what I mean by that question? Um, yeah, um, I'm gonna be upfront. We um, decided to go against putting in some of the custom content, such as the Metro Cops. Um, we decided to put go against putting the other custom content, our Strider Workers. Um, we have um, gameplay mechanics in the next levels that um, we wanted to keep separate as uh, part of what we wanted to do with Complex was um, a, a vision that uh, GCAF uh, really wanted to stick with, which was being able to immerse players who are familiar with Half-Life Alex 
um, and, and getting them to be able to transition into what is going to end up kind of ramping up to be um, different gameplay and, and, and different experiences in each level. Uh, what we didn't want for Complex was to go overboard and make it such a, a, a jarring uh, change that immediately the player is thrown off. So we we're hoping that by familiarizing the player and giving him a sense that, you know, oh, this could be something that is out of Half-Life Alex. Um, that when they eventually get to chapter two, which is um, on a tram, that's what you were actually looking at. That giant thing at the end of complex um, was the next level. Wait, um, the thing in the skybox? Mm hmm. Yeah. Um, that map uh, in and of itself is uh, about a mile long worth of a train ride that you're going to be fighting in. Um, uh, so that's going to be our second chapter. Uh, as we move on to our third chapter, we have um, a prison that is uh, going to be something that uh, makes you feel like you're going something out of Nova Prospect. Uh, we're hoping to kind of bring back some of those vibes combined with uh, what our environmental artists have envisioned. Um, we're going to be taking you to the jungle in the fourth chapter. Um, we're going to be bringing you to uh, 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 Zen-infested science labs under waterfalls in the next chapter. Um, so you're going to be going up gondolas. Um, you're going to be fighting jetpack soldiers, uh, custom uh, soldiers that will be flying around that have been um, uh, built off of uh, the work that uh, we've been putting into this. Okay. <laughs> All right. That's cool. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's quite a palette. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. So one of my major complaints that I have with Half-Life Alex proper is that for me, it's not the best VR game that's out there. It's developed to be a, everybody's introduction into right. virtual it's, reality. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And by that account, it's a masterpiece. It's, it's, it's designed and polished to a T to be the most comfortable, engrossing first experience in VR that you can possibly have. But for people like myself and probably some of you who have been playing virtual reality longer than Half-Life Alex has existed and enjoyed things like Boneworks, uh, Compound, Vertigo, those kind of things, uh, it definitely didn't push itself far enough. It seems like from what you just fucking told me, <laughs> Uh, it may this may be a far more mechanically intense experience. Would that be correct? Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm not gonna lie. We've actually had play testers um, almost throw up with the crap that we've thrown at them. Uh, oh goodness! Uh, you can have, uh, <laughs> no, no, no. no, no. <laughs> uh, it, it, it's it's a good way. It's an intense experience. Um, we've had to redesign some of the um, ways that we want to have the player experience virtual reality, uh, mm -hmm. such as um, we have them up in a gondola uh, that is going to be forcing them to go up um, a quarter of a mile. Um, and the vertigo that it's caused combined with how far up and, and the type of movement that we had, uh, had players literally hugging the floor, um, and on it, like just fearing that they were going to fall out of it. Hell yeah. <laughs> um, it, 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 <laughs> It's it's something that um, we've had to uh, try to scale a little bit on because uh, you know with what uh, play testers have told us and some of the engine limitations, um, we've had to try to work around what source uh, is able to allow us to do and not allow us to do. Mm -hmm. um, but one of the things that we are trying to do is in each level give the player a different type of VR experience, um, whether it's a lot of uh, vertical uh, 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 type of uh, combat uh, where you have a sense of falling. Um, we have um, that was a map that um, actually I think you had tweeted out originally uh, that we call Sam site um, where you're fighting over a, a, a river that's flowing off into a waterfall. Yeah, um, we have a map right now that um, generic icon has been working on where uh, the view distance of the map is going to be about uh, 16 square miles worth of view. Um, something that we've pushed the engine to uh, really try to give a sense of scale um, that uh, we're hoping is going to give players just uh, moments where they stand above it and just kind of look around. And, and and what we're hoping is that, you know, not even the combat, we're just hoping that with the sense of scale and uh, the sense of speed that we give players, um, that they remember moments in the campaign where they're not necessarily fighting all the custom AI that we have, uh, but they're just taking in something that we're hoping um, can only be described and communicated through virtual reality. You know, because we understand as it means you can play these games 
in pancake mode all you want, mm. um, you know, the 2D, but at, to a certain extent, when you put on your VR goggles and you're actually, you know, you know, going up, you know, uh, 3,000 feet above the ground and, and you feel like at any moment you're going to fall over, you don't fire a gun the same way and you don't feel like you're going to experience it the same way. So um, we are doing everything we can to push the mechanics of what this engine can allow us to do with virtual reality so that players can experience that. Um, we have, uh, you know, for examples, uh, a ton of, we, we call it Wonderland. Uh, GCAF is, uh, uh, it also has a variety of test maps that you should ask him that he makes. <laughs> it's a crazy amount um, where we just literally have players go on things like zip lines. So we, we, we have uh, zip lines implemented um, after uh, taking rounds of tests uh, to be able to give that player the sense um, that they're on something. And we're hoping it translates well. Okay, this is a lot to take in, and I apologize for for kind of not being prepared to ask the kind of questions I originally intended on asking, because this seems like a... Look, I've been communicating with Chimona specifically for months, um, since around Christmas time, and I've been paying attention to your public uh, presence related to this mod since day one. This seems much larger than you were originally letting on. Um, which is amazing, like, that's not a bad thing, obviously, this is insane, but at the same time, it's like, okay, I, in my, you know, journalistic, whatever the hell I am kind of opinion, I, I have always been under the impression that, that the tools that, that the public has access to related to Valve's current implementation of Source 2 are, are quite limited, and the documentation is a joke. Um, Absolutely. <laughs> How is any of what you're saying possible, given I, the limitations? The yeah. yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna let these guys speak. They're they're the ones who figured this out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, it's it's uh what's what's really unlimited here is uh, definitely the community. Um, people are always coming into our Discord, and um, it's you know it might be time for a little bit of a shout out that we have a Discord Eagle One Devs. Um, it's uh, someone can link it, but um, we have people coming in uh, and volunteering all the time. Um, on all on all levels, like voice actors, environment, uh, music, and all that good stuff. So yeah, the, the community is definitely the uh, incredible resource making it possible. But I'm actually yeah, yeah. asking technically, how do you get 16 square <laughs> miles of view distance without killing a computer? A lot <laughs> of smoke smears. A lot of smoke and mirrors. Yeah, <laughs> that's uh, kind of been our uh, our go to phrase. Anytime we pull something off, we're just like, it's a bunch of smoke and mirrors. We just we, we trick the player into seeing something that's not actually there. Um, a lot of what we've uh, been experimenting with um, um, has helped us actually in preparation for developing future source engine related things like on Sandbox, since um, being able to figure it out now is going to allow us to build, you know, hopefully as uh, the worlds that we would like to build. Um, but yeah, it's it, it, a lot of it comes down to um, just uh, tricking the player uh, and uh, you know having the ability to um, squeeze everything that we can out of this engine um, is it, it, really just a testament to how uh, you know people like GCAF and Bo, who spend time just figuring every single thing out they can about the engine, um, mm. just allows us to really figure out you know uh, what it is that we can and can't do with this. So what I just played then is effectively a cut up version of what will be in the final experience like even the level i just played will have things re-enabled in the end or will it stay the way it is the level you just played there's probably gonna be minor improvements but that is pretty much the final product just so people that have already played alex it's a familiar world oh, that way okay. they're just easy all people. right okay um is the introduction going to remain the same or is there like more context to what's going on so you know in damn part three we had the office the player would go through mm -hmm. we're gonna have a slightly more expanded version of that just just to give more context to the world yeah so what happens with the in case you guys don't know um the the viewers um this is supposedly like the fourth map of a series of like fifth i don't remember there um, are yeah, yeah, there are fifth, previous yeah, fifth, maps fifth, that exist on the workshop that this is apparently a continuation of, but isn't really because this is chapter one of eight of a much larger campaign. What are those older maps? How is that going to work? Do those still remain part of it? 
Yeah. Yeah, we have um so the, this uh the series starts off with dam and facility and then runway which um it mirrors what is the Nintendo 64 series. The very first set of maps that you play is dam and then uh facility and then runway. So uh, when I originally started making maps, um I I decided, you know, um I was going to pick a map that I had uh you know familiarity with and loved and I just learned how to build maps on uh, the use the engine on creating a map that already had a layout. Um, and it just kind of expanded. Um, it, we ended up going back, um, starting off with Dam. So I went from Facility Dam. So I ended up doing the second map first and then going back and doing the first three. Um, so this is supposed to be after Facility. Now, we have had, um, sev- uh, we have through the next seven chapters taken all the Nintendo 64 uh, places that you're going to be going to, um, whether it's the Janus Mission Control or whether you're out in the jungle, and we put it into the campaign. So what we've tried to do is basically stuff everything else that's in there um, and, and, and put it into the rest of the seven chapters so that we can close out the series. Uh, but um, in terms of the previous maps um, and their continuity, I have had uh, you know people on the dev team who have expressed interest in um, essentially kind of going back and redoing those maps. Although that's not a priority right now, um, since um, you know our uh, current priority is finishing this out and then um, moving on to Sandbox eventually. Um, it wow. is something um, that we're doing. And we are currently for developing for Sandbox right now. Um, we actually have uh, two games that are um, one that is actually really being pushed out near completion and another one uh, that's about two weeks away from being uh, what we could consider ready to go. Okay, so just to clarify then, the campaign that you're going to release, the eight chapters, starts with the one I just played and won't recycle the previously released maps that we've seen on the workshop in the past. No, they're all brand new, every single one of them. But that also means that the eight hour campaign that you're about to release technically is much longer because you have released previous maps that are effectively like the prequel missions to this. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The other damn parts are supposed to be um, like uh, pushed in and storied in. So uh, the entirety of the campaign would be this plus all the other ones put together. And that's eight hours. Um, no, this this campaign is eight hours by itself, um, separate of what those ones entail. But will it be playable all the way through, including those prequel missions, if the player so chooses? Probably not a release. Okay. All right. Wow. <laughs> That's a lot of content. That's <laughs> that is that is. How are you getting this done in a in a in a in an all, at all timely manner? Um, just uh, having a, a variety of talent on the team. Um, I mean, the, the the dev group right now is, uh, if if you include, uh, you know, what are the people who are working full time, we're about thirty people. Uh, who are constantly working. Um, now, we do have some people who are uh, just uh, working on nothing but sandbox. So we do have a part of the development group that right now that is focused entirely on developing everything that we need to transition over. Uh, we're not going to be done working on Half-Life Alex. So we'll still have a group that works on Half-Life Alex. Um, but with uh, how we've split it up, um, we have a, a variety of level designers. We have a variety of environment artists. Um, the other levels, uh, what we've done is we've had lead level designers designers uh, for different ones. So um, for example, one of the environment artists uh, who did the map um, Firekeep um, is a lead level designer for another map uh, that we have uh, the first part of Jungle. So um, in some parts, uh, he can spend days, he'll design out his map. And then the other day, he decides he wants to environment detail another map. Um, It allows our developers to really have a selection of things that they want to do. Um, I guess you could kind of call it, someone said and mentioned it's sort of what Valve does with the Cabal system. And what I do is um, I give everybody, uh, essentially, like I said, I'm a spreadsheet manager. (laughs) Mm -hmm. So I give everybody, you know, hey, this is what we're doing. This is what we need here. Um, If you can do this, go ahead and put your name here. And then um, I've modulated it so that they know um, through the way it's uh, organized vertically and horizontally, like what modules need to be done in order to move the next one and which ones they can work in parallel. Uh, So it really allows the team to just kind of pick and choose. Oh, I want to work on this today. I want to work on that today Uh, so we can get multiple things done if we need to focus on something like for example complex uh, then the last few weeks we've just kind of allocated resources from the team and just kind of pushed everyone in this direction and had them focus on getting this out 
And now, um, you know, Vsauce, who's another environment artist, he's the lead designer of a prison level that you're going to be playing, um, which, um, like I said, is going to resemble something out of Nova Prospect with his, uh, you know, vision as uh, part of it. Um, so we have lead level designers, environment artists. Um, we have other environment artists, uh, Gmo Man and Cranial Femur are uh, a couple of other examples that will hop right in. Rice is another one. Um, so we have a variety of level designers um, that are ready to go. When it comes to animations um, and custom animations, um, between our motion capture artists and the animators that we have. Um, we get the raw animations done with our mocap done by Validator. Um, so he, he'll, he'll come in, do three, four hours in a row, he'll put on his mocap suit, does a great job, does the diving. Um, we have mocap later of combine soldiers, um, you know, jumping through windows, rappelling down from helicopters. Um, all of that's been done. Um, that, that's already in and fully functioning. Uh, so what we're trying to do is uh, make sure that uh, combining that mocap work with animation, um, we'll have all the mocap done, then I'll tell the animators like, hey, this is what we need you to just go ahead and touch up so they can go in and they know you know kind of generally when it needs to be done they'll get it done and using just uh, uh, uh the uh communication that we have through discord and excel spreadsheets um we're really able to figure out exactly what needs to be done and where um but it is a it is a collaborative effort that um allows everyone to kind of see what needs to be done and when and just kind of jump in and do what they think they do best Ooh, okay. Wow. Um, my, I, I have so many things I'd like to ask you, but it, it would just overcomplicate it. Um, ah. no, feel, feel free. We're, we're, we're a very transparent group, by the way. We post everything that we're doing. We don't hide what we're doing. Great. I think actually for me, transparency is good for the community. Initially, when yeah. I started this dev group, I wanted to bring together talent that I felt like I just needed something else to help them because uh, you mentioned it. Source 2 has, you know, jack shit for documentation. It has nothing. Mm -hmm. um, you know, uh, part of what we've been trying to do is we've launched a YouTube tutorial series on how to use the Source engine so that people can catch up because we feel like a lot of people who haven't had the ability to work together might not have figured out the crap that we've had to figure mm -hmm. out together. And we're talking about like hours of digging in and figuring out and going like, oh, this work and this doesn't work. Um, so for us, transparency just means that more good content is going to be out there. So, you know, the, the more that the community thrives, you know, everybody wins. That's true. Um, and and yeah. so that's kind of that's kind of been um, our approach uh, to this. Um, and, I, and, and I hope that, um, yeah, with that sort of approach, yeah, we, any questions that you have, you know, feel free. Don't feel shy. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not necessarily that. It's just I want to help your the like there's it, you don't want to overcomplicate what the community currently knows otherwise the the communication and, and what people get hyped about will get fucked up um <laughs> yeah, but yeah understandable this is this is this is awesome like it's cool that you're naming all these people because i've been you know in the source 2 community as as infant in it's in it's it's in it's in, excuse me it's in its infancy right now you know mm -hmm. And I've, you know, yeah. I've been here since the beginning and, and it's, it's amazing to hear all these names that I'm very familiar with. It really feels like you guys have pulled together a team of just all the good ones. It's crazy. You're naming like everyone other than the people that are working for FM Pone. It's like, God, yeah. like it's everybody. <laughs> I, I, I've been, I've been keeping an open eye, uh, <laughs> on, Damn. uh yeah. town, I think, I think, uh, for, uh, what, um, what we've been able to assemble, I'm, uh, just continuing to hope it's, uh, uh, those who are willing to just get better. Um, and I feel like that's really helped us. Everybody on the team has a desire to learn and, 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 and figure out this source engine, which, I mean, I'm with you. I think it's in its infancy. I think, um, you know, I, with what we've seen so far in Sandbox um, producing for it and the ability to pretty much do what we want in this engine now, um, you're about to see a really big spike in terms of the attention that Source 2 is going to get yeah. um, from what I'm thinking is going to be the Gmod community transferring over to Sandbox. The, just, it's the, the tools that are there, that was the whole point. The ease of user-generated content is supposed to be the point, but the documentation is so poor that people don't even realize half the stuff that they have access to. So yeah. because of the work that your team and a few other groups like FM Pones Group is doing is so hugely beneficial to the people that want to play more stuff like this, but it's also like, it kind of makes the people that are supposed to be providing this stuff in the first place look kind of bad because it's like, okay, these people are doing, doing your damn job. 
Um, <laughs> but you know, I'd like to think some account at Valve decided, you know what, it's uh, the money that we get in may not be worth it. <laughs> Just that kind of well, pulled the plug. I'd, I'd, hate to think that's, I'd, I'd hate to think that's the case, but um, I, I can't tell you from um, the access that we've been given to Sandbox, um, and, and we're very grateful to be able to mm. have the ability to jump right into that. Um, the uh, Sandbox is the Half Life SDK, pretty much. Um, yep. You know, uh, it's it's something that. Um, from poking around in, uh, we've been able to see has a lot of parts that are still kind of broken. Um, you know, for in terms of audio, uh, Bowmancer has uh, been dying to get a hold of the audio tools and finally has access to them. So, um, yeah, if uh, Bo, if you want to talk about like what you found in the audio tools that we don't have, like that definitely be helpful for some people too. Yeah, absolutely. It's a uh... It's uh, it's actually kind of my next project after you know Runway's been out. I learned uh, the tools with the uh, you know hard lines of code, so I'm actually like pretty comfortable with the hard lines of code at this point. But <laughs> now I got to learn the graphic user interface. You know what the fuck? You know it's mm -hmm. not right. But. Yeah. Um. Damn. Yeah. This is gonna be great. This is this is this is something special. I hope uh, that you're capable of seeing it to completion. It, I, I, I believe that you guys will be able to, from what I've seen. Um, is there yeah. any way that, uh, the community can support you or help out? What, what, what can you do? What can the community do to, to help? Um, and I think the best thing that the community can, can, can do is, uh, c uh continue to support, uh, us by, you know, if we have a discord that they, they want to jump on, we have a help channel where we're, we're trying to be active. If someone asks questions or, uh, we're in voice chat constantly to, uh, encourage people to jump on and talk and, and stream with us if they want to be able to figure this out. Um, you know, I think that's the best thing that they can do. Cause I think, um, you know, if the community is, is able to really, uh, get together, um, and, and and figure out how we can create content together then everybody wins you know uh, when one mod does well everyone else is going to benefit from that and i think that that's the best thing that the community can do is continue to get together and embrace uh, just the dispersion the dispersion of knowledge yeah, and i think that uh, by doing so uh, we'll see uh, leaps and bounds more of uh, custom content uh, that's going to continue to push the standard power to you guys this is this is awesome i i i wholeheartedly look forward to whatever is coming next the whole campaign whenever that may be uh i won't ask you to say a date publicly or anything along those lines but uh <laughs> i am we're obviously we're all hugely looking forward to it um thank you and uh yeah thank you thank so you. much for letting me play it um Absolutely. i hope i hope um I hope everybody enjoys it and I hope uh, everybody's able to communicate with Chimona and the whole team. Um, go join their Discord server. Uh, the invite link was on the chat. I'll post it again in the chat. And thank you. Chimona, GCAF, Bowman, Bo Bowman, Bowman, Bowman. Oh, man. Bowman thank, yeah. <laughs> thank you very much for, for your time tonight. Uh, I appreciate oh, thank it. Thank you for having this us. Is, this is awesome, guys. Like, power to you this i've just I'm, I'm dumbfoundedly excited for whatever it is that you guys have in store next and i i really hope we get to see this to completion keep keep going thank you thank you um, thanks for having us thank you yeah. for having us man no problem uh i'll talk to y'all later i'll talk to y'all off off stream and we'll yeah. we'll, we'll start we'll some evil up. plans so yeah, all right all right we'll catch you then all right talk to you later right. thanks all right bye-bye some real shit. Damn.